Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. Hope all is well. And in this video, we're going to look at solving this equation. We have, uh, we want to solve it for V. We have 4 minus 5 over V minus 1 equals 3 over V minus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead. We don't have anything to factor in our denominator. So let's go ahead and identify the excluded values. So uh, my denominators with variables in, in them are v minus 1 and v minus 2. So I need to set each one of those equal to 0. So add 1 to both sides. So v equals positive 1. Uh, add 2 to both sides. v equals 2. So my excluded values are positive 1 and positive 2. Okay, so those are also the V minus 1, V minus 2 is also uh, my greatest, least common multiple of my denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by V minus 1 times V minus 2. Okay, so we have 4 times V minus 1 times V minus 2 minus 5 so let's just go through here and multiply show that we're multiplying v minus 2 alrighty so let's clean this up some now all right, so this first part, the 4 times the V minus 1 times the V minus 2, I'm going to go ahead and start multiplying those two binomials out. So using our distributive property or FOIL, V times V is V squared. V times negative 2 is negative 2V. Negative 1 times V is negative 1V. And negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. The second part, we can simplify or cancel those v minus 1, so it gives me negative 5 times v minus 2. And then on the other side of the equal sign, I can cancel, uh, let's see here, I can cancel the v minus 2s, so that gives me 3 times v minus 1. Okay, so now I can... Let's get here and combine these. Combine those like terms. Alrighty, now we need to use our distributive property to clear the parentheses. So distribute the four to the trinomial there. Distribute the negative 5 after that. Distribute the 3. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's see where we are. All right, on the left-hand side, let's combine the like terms that we have. So the 12, negative 12 V minus five gives us negative 17 V. And then the eight plus 10 gives us positive 18. Okay. All right, so now we need to move the 3v and the 3 to the left-hand side. So I'm going to move those at the same time. I'm going to subtract 3v and add 3. Come over here under the like term, subtract 3v and add 3. So that cancels completely out and gives 0 over there. Okay, we've done a lot of work, but we're not finished yet. We need to solve this equation by factoring the expression first. And since we have that 4 uh, number larger than 1 in front of v squared, we, I'm going to use the AC method. 
So I'm going to come out here to the side and factor this, starting off finding factors of, uh, let's see here. I guess we can just come straight out to the side. We have four times 21, first times the last. Uh, I want to find factors of 84. That gives me a sum of the middle number. gives me a sum of negative 20. So we know both of our factors have to be negative and I'm just going to go on my calculator here and, and see what we have. So 84 divided by uh, 3 is 28. That's negative 31. The sum of those two numbers is negative 31. So 84 divided by 4 is 21. The sum of those will be negative 25. We're getting closer. What about 84 divided by 6? It's 14. So those are the two numbers we're looking for. All right, so AC method, we want to split the middle terms into those two factors. So we just change the middle term into those two factors. And the reason we do that is so we can factor by grouping. When we have four terms, we can factor by grouping. So I will make two groups of binomials. Factor the GCF out of each group. So the GCF of 4V squared and 6V is 2V. So divide both of these by 2V gives us 2v plus 3. And remember, if we have a negative on that third term there, we need to divide by a negative number. The GCF of 14 and 21 is 7, so I'm going to factor out a negative 7 so I can make sure my signs match up. So that makes positive 2v minus 3. And then the final step of factoring is to factor out the common binomial. And then to finish solving this equation, we want to set each one of our factors equal to zero. And solve. So it's two step equations to solve here. On this first one, I need to subtract three and divide by two. On the second one, I need to add seven and divide by two. Uh, neither one of those are the excluded values. Again, I think the computer would want you to write those as negative 3 halves, comma, uh, 7 halves. Woo, that was a long problem. I know it, I know it. Uh, make sure you take your time with it. Be careful with your calculations and practice, practice, practice. Hope you found this video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.